Hi, this is Ava from avawaits.com, and I am thrilled that you're back. Uh, I had the funniest conversation not long ago, and I wanted to tell you about it. So this, uh, I was on the phone with a, one of my colleagues, and she's down in Los Angeles, and I'm up here in Washington, and we were talking about marketing, and she was asking me a few questions around the, the types of things that she really needed to learn in her business as she decided to to grow it and to start reaching more people and to really just create a business that that didn't leave her in burnout and exhaustion. And I was joking on the phone, I was kind of getting into my, my jokester side and, and uh, as I was like, explaining everything that I had done, especially in growing my own company, there was one thing I said and it was that I, I felt that through my background in customer service that I used to be have and just just the fact of being a business owner and just everything that we get to do as business owners, uh, especially back and forth with customers and potential clients, it, it really can develop what I refer to as our marketing minds. And this is the mind, and you can develop this too, where you could look around you and you could see anything, any object, any service, and you could just, in your mind, you could start spinning it and understanding how to talk about it to someone else in a way that would be appealing to them. And so I was on the phone with her and I said, so pretty much I feel like I've developed my marketing mind to a point where I could sell you my old eighth grade desk and you'd want to buy it. And, and I was looking across the room and and I had this old desk uh, and it has drawers in it and everything. And it was one that I bought, uh, <laughs> this probably won't sell it much, but I bought it from a thrift shop, painted over it, painted a design on it and used it for many years. And now it's actually at a point where it's like the paint is flaking off and um, it needs a little tender love and care. But so the the point that I was bringing up is that any sort of object, uh, whether we're sell selling an object or whether you are selling a service, there is always a way to speak about it that makes it appealing. And I do want to point out one thing, though. We're not doing this to be manipulative. And, and, and here's why. Because every single object, I really truly believe that it has an owner whether it's the next donor or every single service that you create, there is a next customer who wants that. And so what you are doing is you are just getting into the mind of that person who is going to come and match up with that object next. And you're doing it, you're, you're speaking about that object, you're speaking about that service in a way where they can hear it, they can really sense the energy behind it, and they will be pulled toward it. And, uh, and so anyway, so this, this old desk of mine, right? <laughs> and, and I started thinking about it. How could I actually describe it in a way where it would be appealing to the next person who wanted to buy it? And, and in my mind, I totally have ideas. And, uh, and if you want me to describe that desk for you, like if you want to purchase this desk, you know, let me know. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to sell it or anything, but, um, but I think it's funny because this this desk has these um, uh, this image on it that I painted, um, and and by accident, this image has so much femininity in it, and such a beautiful represent representation of what it is to be a woman in this image that I painted on the front of this desk, and it was totally unintentional. And it was very interesting how this desk came into my life at a point in time where I was becoming a woman, growing up. And so I, it was very interesting just to notice that I, through this marketing mind that I've developed and that you can develop, I have, was able to, in my mind, look at this desk, which is now a little flaky paint, and, and really think of a beautiful way to explain that to someone who might want to purchase this desk. And so I was laughing with this woman on the phone and I'm like, yeah, you know, you grow this marketing mind and, um, and <laughs> you know, I, I could sell you my eighth grade desk. Um, <laughs> and so I just want you to know that every single object, whether you are selling an object or whether you are selling a service, there is someone out there who it's meant for. And this is not about just painting over it so it looks better than it is. And it's not about lying and it's not about cheating. It is about understanding who your service is for. 
who is the next person who is supposed to have that experience with you or is supposed to experience your product. And then it's about through the way that you speak about that object, also through your uh, just your description, anything you do that's through writing, it could be through video, online promoting, however you are selling this object and getting the word out and doing the marketing, it can all be made to appeal to the right person who is ready and able to purchase this product or service from you. So I just wanted to share that. I thought it was hilarious about selling the A3 and desk and um, and uh, I also want to let you know, so I just very recently opened up my new group program called Build a Richer Business. It's at avawaits.com forward slash richer business. And uh, the reason I bring that up is because if you, first of all, to be able to develop this marketing mind and to be able to create money through your business, one, you need to know who your ideal client is and you need to be so clear about them that you can start really getting into their emotions, really, really like just connecting in with them energetically and through all of your marketing that you use. And then you also need to have something to sell right? To sell to them, to meet their needs. And so there are two sections in the new Build a Richer Business group that are all about that. We're going to be developing your new services and really creating ones that energetically match up with these ideal clients and the people that you so want to work with and that you totally adore. So that's in the group, the Build a Richer Business group. Um, we are starting on May 14th, 2014. And if you'd like more information about that, just go ahead and visit avawaits.com forward slash richer business. And you'll see all the details in there. So I want you all to know that you can develop your marketing mind and, um, and one great way to test it to see if you've really got it and you've got that creativity going is to look around the room that you're in right now, find an object, any object, could be the heater. I have a heater next to me right now, radiating heat out. And start thinking about how, how would you describe that to someone? How would you make that sound beautiful and like something they, they would want to purchase? And just know that there is someone out there who does want to buy whatever object it is that you have in front of you. So you can go ahead and do that, do a little test. And um, I really love just supporting you through these videos and also want to let you know that all those details for the Build a Richer Business group, um, once again, they're at avawaits.com forward slash richer business. I am wishing you a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon.